Hello and welcome to the Chow Hall. Today I'm going to show you how to blacken fish. I went with catfish today because that's what was on sale, but you can use pretty much any white fleshed fish. Let's check it out. All right, let's go over ingredients. You're going to need uh, Paul Prudhomme's Redfish Magic, about a stick and a half of unsalted butter and something to melt it in, and the fish of your choice. Um, you're going to take that Paul Prudhomme's Redfish Magic, throw it in the butter, get that melted, get it mixed up, and we'll use that to baste the fish with as it cooks. And we'll put some down in the pan before we start. Alright, the next thing we'll do is season both sides of the fish very liberally with the Paul Prudhomme's Redfish Magic. And then before you start cooking, you want to make sure your pan is just searing hot. Get some butter in there, get that going. Then once you've got a good, nice little bed of butter, go ahead and get your fish in there. And then hit them with a little bit more of that uh, butter mixture that you had going. And this is pretty much what you'll do the entire cook. Uh, you just baste them every so often. Let them sit on each side initially for at least about you know four to five minutes. Flip, baste. Uh, they still need some more time. Flip, baste until they're done. I think fish finishes at about 145 degrees internal. But uh, cook them to your liking and then uh, pull them. I already probed these, but you'll see I, I poked the fish. I'm just trying to gauge, you know, the firmness, just to double check to make sure they're done. Um, these are definitely done. Beautiful color. So I went ahead and pulled them. Uh, I'm going to do one more piece of fish. I had three. Uh, I did two on the first run because I didn't want to overcrowd the pan. So this will just be a quick run through, um, just to kind of see the process again a little quicker. So you see, this one's a little darker. On the first two, I could have had a skillet just a touch hotter, as this is about what I like my black and fish to look like when it comes off the skillet. All of it was good, of course, but this one was just a little bit better. I never waste an opportunity to get some extra butter in there, so I just took uh, the leftover butter and kind of basted them again before I uh, wrapped them and let them rest for a little while. I don't know if resting is really a thing with fish like it is with steak, but I still had some sides I had to get ready.
If you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed eating that fish, and you want to see more Chow Hall cooking, leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.